Hello, my friends. Welcome back to this channel. What you don't know already is that this is my, I think, at least third, maybe fourth time, fourth time trying to film this video. I filmed it, sat down for an entire half hour, just spilled my guts, my heart, my everything out to you guys. Anyways, hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A slash advice video. I don't like service level things, fun fact, I hate, service level is just not my thing. So, I like good questions, and I asked you guys for some good questions, and you guys asked me some good ones. So, here we are. Just wanted to sit down, really bond with you guys, chill, hang out. Yes, it is May. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm probably looking at the viewfinder. Yes, it is May. I don't know why I'm wearing this jacket. Um, actually, it's not even May, it's literally April 21st. Anyways, moving on, back to my life. If you guys are new here, I would love if you guys could subscribe, and if you guys want to be in the next one, or just see my bomb Instagram right now, it's always linked down below, check it out. I'm sorry, I'm so hyper right now. I'm just like, I've been trying to film this video for two hours, and it just hasn't been going as planned. So, can we answer some questions? As I said a billion times, I'll shut up now. How do you have money when you're so young? Being able to be on your own and buy your own things as a college student. How do you like manage your money, blah, blah, blah. I asked that a billion times. Obviously, it's totally different for everyone, but listen to your parents. My dad, since I started making money when I was like 16, 17, like bet more money than I was before, um, I have listened to him with everything. He basically like went in and set up all of my bank account for me and like how to organize it and how like what percentage goes into what and like I have like a taxes folder and blah, 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 all that stuff. Basically, just listen to your parents. Coco, do you not, did you not hear the drama I had before, Coco? Let's chill. My biggest money advice is to listen to your parents. My dad has saved my life. This is literally not a joke. Coco, please stop. Top three things to do while single. Taylor, what do you think? What? Top three things to do while single. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> okay, that's my answer. Bumble. <laughs> Taylor says bumble, I say no comment. Have you ever been hurt in a friendship? Yes, literally everyone has been hurt, but I also think, this is, I'm like really staring these questions into things that I have been learning. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I think it's really cool to not be offended about things, just everything. I'm trying to learn how to not get offended about anything, which I just, that's my vibe right now, and that's my goal. Funniest memory? Okay, genuinely, I think <laughs> Danielle and Morgan and I were talking about this in Palm Springs last weekend. One of my funniest memories, it was me, Molly, Danielle, Morgan. Keen was there for a part of it. We like went out one night last summer, and Molly was just like, I don't know, she's just so funny. Like, you guys don't understand how funny Molly is. And it was just so, like, we were just recalling the memory almost a year later, and we were crying, we were laughing so hard. It was just a good night. Worst relationship experience. So, um, staying in a relationship that I didn't want to be in because I was comfortable, don't do that. If you're in a relationship right now, and you're not, like, obsessed with them and, like, super in love, not obsessed in, like, an unhealthy way, but if you're not, like, all in and you really want to be there, don't be there. Literally break up with them. It's just gonna hurt yourself and them, and yeah. Um, okay. Someone asked, how was it running into two of your ex-boyfriends at Coachella? The rumors are true, everyone. I don't even know why I'm putting this on the internet. I feel like Keaton would put this on a video, so like I'm just copying Keaton, basically. Um, and I also tweeted about this, so I can't be mad. And I also texted one of them, so like it's fine. At Coachella, there's an attendance of like 125,000 people per day, and there's about like five to seven stages. Maybe more, I'm not really sure. And I somehow ran into two of my three ex-boyfriends within five minutes of each other at the same Coachella set. So that is just like a really great like analogy. That's not even an analogy, but that just explains my life so well. Like that would only happen to me. Like it wouldn't happen to anyone else. Like it just doesn't make any sense. They're both great. Like they're fine. It's just like, it was just funny. It's not like I'm like, ew. I just like, it was genuinely funny. Like nothing against them. They're both awesome boys. Great guys, but yeah, that was just... <laughs> that was just genuinely, like, that would only happen to me. And so here we are, living my life, and yeah, I, I hate my life. Okay, just met an amazing guy coming to work in America for two months from beginning of June to end of July. Is it too soon to expect him to do long distance or what? Help, girl. Okay, Taylor and I are the long distance queens over here. Um... <laughs> And by long distance, I mean we are both now broken up with our long distance. 
<laughs> um, I think if he really likes you and you really like him, try it. I personally really liked long distance, but I also think it does hold you back. But I also think it holds you back. <laughs> it does hold you back, but it can be good. And if it's with the right person, it's with the right person. Okay. Um, I think timing for everyone is different though, so feel it out. I don't know. If be you have, young while you can. Be young while you can, and if you have if you have peace about it, then go for it. Any YouTube drama, spill the tea. Teaching moment again. <laughs> Here I am. You know when you like are a parent and like something happens and they're like teaching moment. My parents didn't do that, but I know parents do that. Um, that's how I feel with this YouTube channel sometimes when I get asked questions. So I personally think that the whole spilling the tea and being savage internet trend is like really tacky. It's lame. It's lame and it's not my thing. Like yeah, the whole like when I'm talking about my ex boyfriends like. That isn't like, I don't mean that in like a negative, like, content. like that's funny and like they're both great and we're on good terms and it's just like funny. But as far as like spilling the tea and like savage and like being mean to people or like airing out people, like that is so tacky and like, ew, like why do you want to do that? I just, ooh, it's not my thing, not my vibe, not my ministry, not my calling, not my thing. So, no, I don't have YouTube drama. I also don't really hang out with friends where there's like lots of drama. I like never have drama with anyone, so. Yeah, no tea, hate that. Hate that that's a trend. Let's end that now. Do you and Joe ever get annoyed with each other or do you balance one another out? We actually balance each other out really well. We've talked about this so many times. We work so much better as roommates than we thought we would. Like, not that we thought it was gonna be bad, but like obviously like moving with your friends, whatever, people were like saying whatever, doesn't matter, who cares. But we actually work together very, very well. With doing YouTube, filming, editing, and being in front of the camera, which part is your favorite? Definitely being on camera. How to not give an F about what people think you are. Welcome to my life. So, um, <laughs> I have a lot to say about this actually. So, I've been the new girl a billion times in my life and also I think like when you have like any sort of following on any sort of social platform like literally an app I literally have followers on an app like calm down everyone um, People like to assume things about you and also like I like clothes I like like whatever you know I don't know people just assume things and this is not all the time people love to have like preconceived ideas of how people are and who people are I'm actually really normal and down-to-earth like my I'm kidding everything I say is a joke like I don't mean anything but, <laughs> anyways, yeah, people just like really like to like have a preconceived idea of who you are. And Nazanin actually tweeted this the other day, and she's like, I hate when I become really close to someone, and they tell me like, oh, I thought you were gonna be a certain way, like a bitch or like whatever. Um, like when I first met you or before I like knew you, she's like, that's such a turnoff because like you were judging someone before you met them, and like I completely agree. I like it's so like ew I don't know I also people love to judge you before they even know you and I think so much of it is just like I know who I am I am who I am my friends know who I am like my close friends if my close friends have a problem I'm gonna listen to them because I trust them and I want to be better but um, other than that like you literally just like have to not care because people just don't know you also with that being said like don't judge other people like I hate when people judge other people's hearts or their intention or what they're about and like you don't know them you don't know them well enough like you're not one of their close five like chill stop not a thing okay um are boys actually worth it no <laughs> sometimes I think they are but <laughs> They're gonna think I'm like this crazy person. She's not, she's not. Have you ever hooked up with one of your friends? And do you have any advice on hooking up with friends? Don't. Okay, <laughs> don't. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what to say. By hooking up, I'm gonna assume that you mean kissing. <laughs> yes, I think sometimes you guys don't realize that I'm literally the exact same age as you and also I do really stupid things and I do the exact same things that you guys do probably. So like, yeah, very similar. Um, yes, I have. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But also, I think that being young and stupid is like fun. So I'm, I'm giving the worst advice. I'm literally telling them to mess up their lives. Just because I'm trying to mess up my life right now doesn't mean that they need to be messing up their lives. Don't hook up with your friends. Don't kiss your friends. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. On another note, what type of Bible do you use? <laughs> and where do you, where do you get your Bible tabs? Okay, so people ask me this all the time. Message Remix and my Bible tabs are on Amazon. You can buy both of them on Amazon. 
I'll have it linked down below. I get asked that all the time. It's on my Instagram highlight. Oh, I want to do like a frequently asked question Instagram highlight because you guys love to ask me the same like 10 questions all the time. So if you guys can think of a question that you have for me, please leave it down below because I'm going to make an entire highlight on it so we can stop commenting them on my Instagram and we can start just looking at my highlight. Okay, what do you want to be remembered for when you're gone? Kind of morbid, but I like asking myself this because it helps me gain a true depiction on the impact I want to leave on people. Okay, Selena Gomez said this once and she was like, I cannot wait for the day where no one remembers my name and I really, really feel that. Um, I like, I totally understand this question. I think it's a great question. Like, like what do you want to be? And like, I want to be someone, if I'm known for anything, who's like known for like loving people and how I love people. Like that's really the core of what I care about, who I am, that's it. But I don't care about what people think about me when I'm gone. Like my point on this earth isn't to like be remembered when I die. So that's that, can't wait for the day no one knows my name cause that's not my point. This life isn't about me and yeah. <laughs> Someone says, okay, I know you're good at boy stuff. So please help in all caps. Wow. <laughs> Since when have I ever been good at boy stuff? I don't know. There's a boy I like and he knows, but there's no chance for us and I can't get over him. Please help. P.S. I love you. Girl, this is the worst place to be in. You have to distance yourself. You have to like stop hanging out with him all the time. That's it. Um, there's so many YouTubers who have allowed the amount of fame or followers to get to their head and inflate their egos. How have you not allowed this to happen to you? I think that is the stupidest thing that has ever happened. I think it's stupid for anyone across the board, like not just like internet. Like I don't care if you're Kylie Jenner, like there's no reason for you to act like you're better than anyone. Not my vibe again, not my calling, not my ministry, not my thing. Um, yeah, I just don't like that. My like favorite, one of my favorite qualities in someone is humility. Just being who you are, being down to earth, being vulnerable, real, raw, open. It's my thing, so. What is your favorite song right now? Broken Clocks by SZA. Let's play it actually. Taylor, are you excited for this? I am. relieves any stress that I was feeling before. Thoughts on being friends with exes. People, I feel like people are just like one way or the other on this and I like totally think it depends on the ex. Like there's people that I've like been a thing with or like dated or whatever that I like, can totally be friends with and it's like so fine. There's no feelings, it's not risky, it's chill. There's also people that I've dated who like I literally cannot just be friends with and anytime I'm around them I just continue to ruin my life. So. I think it just depends on the person, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it, it so depends on you. If you can be friends with them, be friends. If you can't, don't. You don't have to be friends with them. I know you have a lot going on in your life. Do you ever feel like spread thin with all of your obligations and your friends and people in your life? This is a long one, but that's basically what they asked. I was talking to Taylor about this in the car yesterday. Yes! I do. As far as my obligations, like school, YouTube, whatever, I can like pretty much do that. Like, yes, I die. Sometimes I don't sleep. Sometimes I am just like super busy and like whatever, but I like being busy. I kind of thrive off being busy, so that's fine. I feel like I just do at times feel pressured to be everything for everyone and I can't be that and I'm learning that and I really value my relationships and I really value being a good friend to people. And so it does get a little bit overwhelming when like there's so much going on and I feel like I can't be what other people want me to be for them, which I'm learning to not be. But I'm like so grateful, like literally trust me, I was in a place a year and a half ago when Taylor and I first started becoming friends, like I literally had no friends. Like Molly was gone, like I had Taylor, and like there was literally no friends. Now I have the complete opposite problem. I'm super grateful for everything, but I do feel like I can't be as good as I would like to be in like friendships and stuff sometimes um, But I'm learning to figure that out if you guys have any any like r Tell me what to do basically. Okay um, When's the last time you kissed someone? I don't know. I don't remember. What was your favorite moment at Coachella? By far, my favorite moment at Coachella was when Brooke turned 21 during Beyonce's set and also when Destiny's Child came out. That was like my dream come true. Like if you guys have watched my YouTube channel for any amount of time, you know how much I love Destiny's Child. But like Brooke 
Danielle and I have been friends since we were like literally 15, 16 and we've like done the whole YouTube thing together. We've grown up together. We're like way more than just YouTube friends. Like they're some of my best friends. Like they'll be at my wedding. I love them. Um, and they just like me. I'm literally gonna cry. Like they just like mean the world to me and Keaton too. And obviously like Molly and Tori and Sarah weren't there. But it was just so cool. Like it was during Beyonce. We had literally like that has been one of our biggest goals forever was to get sent to Coachella. And like we got sent. Brooke turned 21 and we were all just together during Beyonce. There's a video on my Instagram. Go watch it. I watch it like five times a day because it just makes me so happy. But yeah, it was just, it was such a good moment. And like, uh, I'm just like so glad that I got to share that with them. Also, Destiny's Shout coming out was literally like the coolest thing. Like when their silhouettes came out. Wow. I don't know if I've ever told this story on my channel. So here we go. Story time. Um, whenever I was like, was probably like six or seven. I don't, I don't remember how old I was. I was young. My uncle works for Kiss FM, he's always been in radio, and he was in Texas, like, at the Dallas Kiss FM with Kid Craddock when he was still alive. And so, we would always go to, like, the Jingle Ball concert, but we would have, like, all access passes, we would meet, like, literally everyone. And this sounds like I'm joking, and this sounds like I'm lying, and I promise you I am not making this story up, but I was crying, because the Justin from American Idol, not just in terms of, like, the Justin from American Idol, um, had like signed something and autographed and it had, like blown away and like I was tired and young and stupid and I was crying and then Beyonce comes up to me and she compliments my outfit and that is when Kenzie Elizabeth was born I promise you you can ask my parents you can ask anyone in my family yeah I swear it happened I forget that happens sometimes and I feel like I've never even told the story I know that it sounds like it's made up I swear it isn't it was in her Destiny's Child phase and I also don't know how old it was but I know what I was wearing I was wearing a children's place big like long coat with like the patchwork on it it was a move it was a vibe i feel like i need to stop talking because this video has already been 30 minutes i filmed this video for like two hours today i hope you guys enjoyed this video loved getting to bond with you and talk about these things um it's what life is all about talking about stupid things that happen to you um i love you guys so much be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already follow me on instagram and i will see you soon bye guys